Alright YouTube, how you doing? This is Rath from Rath Customs and uh, I'm going over a Shark motorcycle stereo audio uh, amplifier that I just bought. Uh, well, actually I didn't buy it. I bought it actually uh, about a year ago almost. I bought it back in Hawaii, back in July time frame in Hawaii. I've had it installed on my motorcycle for uh, since then. Uh, in Hawaii, since the, the, the average speed is about 50 miles per hour um, you really don't need all all the components in here you actually don't need all four speakers this came with four speakers uh, inside this little box I'll go over the components here briefly but uh, I didn't really need all the speakers uh, I got out here to Kansas and the wind and and everything so I really needed the the, uh, the extra speaker so I actually installed the other two speakers that came with the system and it sounded great but once again with the wind so then I went ahead and put my windshield back on and now I can hear my radio perfectly fine when I'm driving down the road 60 miles an hour 70 miles an hour I can hear it all I have to do is just turn it up and it sounds great I don't care if it's pumping down the highway because guess what I'm on the highway and you only gonna hear me for about 10 30 seconds so um, uh, cruising through the neighborhood or uh, through uh, the development or whatever I usually turn it down a little bit so that it's not so loud and obnoxious I don't want to be that guy on the block it's bad enough my pipes are loud too so uh, I'll go over how I installed it I'll go over the components of this motorcycle and I'll go over the pros and cons and I'll play some music non copyright for for YouTube uh, this was my second take on this video I actually uploaded a video that I shot from a few weeks ago and uh, I finally got it uploaded and YouTube blocked it so uh, that video cannot be played because of uh, the song that was in the background thank you YouTube um, so it's kinda hard to review a radio unit with no music it's kinda hard to do that so anyway uh, let's go over here so this is my Yamaha Roadstar it's a 1700 I installed this radio on here and it came with two remote controls you have this one remote control right here which is your uh, you know you can use this for you know demonstrations or whatever this one right down here is what I use for uh, when I'm on the road uh, driving down the highway obviously I can't be fiddling around with this uh, I'm in the military so I'm, I'm required to wear gloves so I cannot be uh, messing around with this while operating a motorcycle. So it's easier for me to just use this right here. It's very easy to use with my uh, with my gloves on. I can. You you also get this nice little beeping sound when you push a button here. Um, you know, so you get that. So you have two speakers. Uh, two remote controls this one here this one came with the mount however the mount is very fragile and I'm not sure how they expect motorcycles to uh, some uh, not all motorcycles to do this so when I put it on trying to put it on and and fit it onto my bike I actually broke the the little snip that this slides onto so then I had to go ahead and get zip ties and zip tie it onto in, into place here on my bike as you can see so it stays in place so thanks to that but uh, other than that uh, it's, it's fine it works great if you can find a different mount for this that'd be perfect you could probably take this and uh, I can actually probably link some velcro to this and velcro this remote up here to the top somewhere so I can just push the button as I'm riding down the highway on here instead of reaching down underneath uh, right here so along with these two remote controls you also got four speakers one two three four um, you get four brackets each of the brackets look like this right here and I'll go over this here also part of the reason as to why I did not install this uh, these two speakers here when I first got it was not only for the fact that it's very uh, it, in, in Hawaii it was not uh, hard for me to hear so I didn't really need them but also 
I also had a hard time installing them because they give you four brackets right here. These brackets go onto my mirrors. So if I take and unscrew my mirror, I can then lift my mirror up and then pull this off. So these go on here. The only reason why I was able to mount these without going out and buying different brackets, which is definitely a con, is um, the fact that I have this bar here. So because I have this bar going right here, I was able to unscrew this piece right here and put the bracket on this piece right here and then put the bar back on. So that's how I actually secure it to my bike. All four. Another thing, um, these brackets aren't omnidirectional. I mean, like it, it's very hard. So you have this big speaker, you have this bracket, and then you have this tight space. So I would either have to go and get taller or more pronounced uh, mirrors so that I can actually take this this one here and turn it back in. Because as as it sits right now with my mirror, I can't I can't actually hear the speaker so this is actually pretty much pointless uh, but it's there I can hear it it just most of the sound escapes out that way whereas I'm sitting straight ahead this way so you've got four speakers you have four brackets you have two uh, remote controls and you also have an antenna and I'm gonna go over here this antenna uh, my antenna is actually longer than this but I actually uh, accidentally broke it off when I was moving from here to uh, from Hawaii to Kansas I accidentally broke off the antenna so um, I don't actually use it but it does still work uh, mostly I don't use it because I don't like listening to the radio I like to listen to the music that was on my phone Spotify SoundCloud or what have you so this radio has a is a detachable four channel amplifier and it, it has four Waterproof loudspeakers. They are very loud. I will demonstrate them uh, shortly. It is built-in FM radio. It is Bluetooth with an external antenna that I just showed you. It has up and down auto scan tuning system. It has a huge LCD display, which I will show to you briefly for FM stations and audio input information. It has a 3.5 meter uh, millimeter auxiliary cable. You can use USB and you can use SD slots input and available. Stereo operational uh, operation you have left and right, and you also have easy mounting in both wired and wireless remote controls. Suitable for 12 voltage motorcycles, ATVs, UTVs, scooters, snow bikes, and yachts, etc. Uh, so let's go back here. Uh, we're here where it says stereo operation capability. So not only do you have the ports on here for your speakers but you also have one port for a subwoofer so if you had subwoofers of some sort and on your motorcycle you can install this on here and you have a full kit 1400 watts you got a lot of power kicking in here don't mind my camera uh, my phone is actually charging here but it's uh it's, it's just my phone is actually doing the recording but uh if you if you had subwoofers and you had hard bags you could install the the subwoofer in here somewhere. Um, I, I do plan on changing these out someday um, just because they're hard to maintain. Uh, the, my leather's cracking and also the movers moving it, they broke the other side over here on my latch. So my saddlebags were damaged. So, uh, you, but you know, if you had hard, a hard case saddlebag, you could put a subwoofer inside. You could also try to mount the amplifier in here don't recommend it because it needs air to breathe uh, you could if your bike had the space for it you could mount the amplifier in here in your seat underneath your seat um, I didn't do it here because I don't have the space uh, the this piece right here is supposed to be for my toolkit but I moved it to my saddlebag over there and it just is too bulky I can't I couldn't put the seat back down properly on it so I routed it up here so how I installed it obviously minus all my other connections on here from my LED lights I have a USB port in the back and I also have this up here uh, it's a USB and also a cigarette lighter charger right here and this is also part of my battery tender which my bike is plugged in right now since I'm uh, 
I'm using it for this demonstration. Uh, my bike is plugged in right now, so I'm not using actually my, my battery power from my bike. I'm using the battery power from the wall to charge my, my bike. Um, but I have all of that installed on here. Uh, zip tied everything through. This would be for this, this, if I connect this to the piece that I ran over here, so I actually need to move this back over here, but if I connect this through, this will patch through and allow me to charge and use this, this piece up here. This was just done recently. But uh, what I did was I, I took it, I took my gas tank off uh, and I routed the cables through. So the gas, the, the, the cables run through on this side right here. They go through, follow through up here, come through up here. And here you can see where I zip tied again. And then follow through, came up here, zip tied some more. And then I cut, I bought this little bag right here, obviously because I couldn't place my amplifier anywhere else. Bought the bag right here and cut a hole right in here to, uh, get the cables in. Now, let's open this up and see what this thing looks like. So this is your actual uh, amplifier. It does get hot, so it does need to breathe, which is also why I have a hole here, and I also have a hole on this side over here, so that when I'm riding on the road, I can, I can kind of get some air going, some airflow going. So right now, here's your blue LCD screen. Right now, you can tell it's on blue Bluetooth. You have your USB port, and you have your SD card. I do not have anything for this. Um, and I haven't tried to use the USB, which we could try a little bit later, but you have your mode button. This is your pause, volume up, volume down, and then this is your skip backwards and skip forwards. All right, your IR reader and your Bluetooth uh, right here. So if you turn around, you spin it around, you can see here are all the connections. Let's get to see if I can pull this up. I, I kind of tied it off in here pretty good. But you can see here, there's my spot for the subwoofer. Everything goes here. I can use this for antenna or I can use it for Bluetooth. If I wanted to, I could go out online and buy a separate antenna and plug it in and get both Bluetooth and antenna on here. So let's spin this back around so we can see. And we're gonna go ahead and tuck this in. Now we're gonna go ahead and start going with the audio. Uh, audio per portion of this. So, keeping in with my non-copyright music, I have a playlist selected for non-copyright uh, music that I can use, hopefully, to, without being uh, blocked by YouTube. Uh, but um, here it is. If you look here, it says Creole Frontier. All right, so as you can see here, it says Krell Frontier uh, by Jasmina and Lynn and Chris, J. Christopher, non-copyright release. And um, we're gonna go ahead and hit play on this now, so. Right now you can hear, it's kinda low. Right now my volume is set for, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate with this remote as well as this remote, as well as this right here. So, like I said, you can go up. Well, that's actually your volume down. One more, it turns the volume off. Two. I can go here to the bottom one, down here. I can also go up here and do this one here. So getting back, so hopefully uh, with all of this that I've gone over, uh, YouTube does not block me, um, but uh, supposedly this is not copyrighted so I can use it. It's just a random song that I just found. Uh, if you like it, you can look at the information here. I'll also post it in the links below. But as you can see, I'm controlling it. I can hit pause. Pause the video. 
I can hit skip and it's skipping over to a new song well that's an ad gotta love ads right so we gotta listen to the ad here for a second but anyway uh, so uh, I just turned the volume down bad thing I would say about this is uh, if you can hear that buzz I don't know if you can hear it or not I'll try and get my camera closer to it but this does stay hot so you have to unplug the amplifier once you turn the bike off that is definitely a a fill uh, what I think they could have done was they could have included a switch to turn on and off and then power on up here however they did not do that so yeah I have to either install a switch from or a fuse or a switch here myself or I have to go in unplug my amplifier every time I shut the bike off uh, with my bike, with my lights installed and my battery tender installed and a few other things, uh, my USB charger in the back, this USB charger up here, this will die, this will kill my battery within two to three days. And this is pretty much a brand new battery. So uh, you have to unplug it every time you're done using it. That is definitely a, a down or a con against this thing, however it is the only, one of the few cons that I have against it, besides its design, it's just ugly. I have seen people take this and mount it to their bike right here. It is waterproof. You can buy the waterproof case for it uh, to, to block this part right here. I think that the device is ugly itself, so I don't even mess with it. Uh, I, I just put it inside of a bag and forgot about it. But uh, I think I just paused it. So if I turn it back up, all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, let's see if this EQ does anything. It's not showing me anything, but yeah, I can hear it pulsing every time I do it. So it does have that feature. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sit this down here on the floor and we're going to go, you can also mute it. That just mutes the whole thing. This is the only way you can mute it if you don't have, uh, there is no mute button on here so you have to either turn it all the way down, turn it back all the way up, or just hit this button right here in the center which is your pause and start. You know? So. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch mode this is your radio as you can hear the radio is very loud alright I don't want to go sit and let it listen for too long because then uh, all of this will be <laughs> blocked but there's the radio as you can hear is very clear that was just me scanning through the channels you can scan using here if you if you watched it you can see me hit it and you see it change you see it change you see it change I can also hit here click or I can go down here and I can hit this button here so those are your, your, the two modes that I would I listen to the most, just radio, Bluetooth. Once again, you can change your mode here. So right now you see here it says line in, so now it's on the auxiliary. So if I had my, my phone jack here, I can plug in and listen to it that way. Uh, you should be able to, with this power button here, change your, change it as well. So now we can turn it back up. You just heard it reconnect back to my Bluetooth. If I hit this again, it should play the, play the music. Which is fine. 
we're going to go ahead and pause that right there. So there you have it. Uh, so now let's go ahead and talk about the pros. The pros is you get you have multiple ways of uh, listening to music. Uh, you can USB, SD, auxiliary, Bluetooth. That's it. Uh, that's pretty much all there is nowadays anyway. Uh, you know, no one uses cassettes anymore and no one uses uh, cassette players or or CD players or uh, man, what is it? 8 track, yeah. I don't even think half of you people know what 8 track are unless you're part of the older bunch. But uh, those are the media options you have. Just USB, SD, auxiliary, Bluetooth, radio. So either way you can listen to music. Now, uh, the pros, part of the pros is, is very loud. Uh, I would start my bike, but however, I'm inside the garage. You're not gonna get much of it because of the echo, but I will tell you, this is very loud. I come into work, people tell me that they hear me coming before I even turn the corner. So, uh, and that, that's, that's pretty loud. Um, you've got four chrome speakers. They look great. Uh, Although a lot of people come up to me and they say, hey, why do you have fans on your bike? Yeah. So, uh, it's an easy install. Like I said, just run your cables through, connect them in. Red cable on your positive, black cable on your black, on your negative, and you're golden. Just plug it in, plug in the, the, the connectors. All the connectors are RCA, so it's just plug in and you're golden. Uh, like I said, you can add a subwoofer if you want. This is, uh, you know, this is this is a legit system. It's not an actual radio like in uh, some of the newer Harley Davidsons where they have an actual radio built in and GPS and navigation and all the other stuff. But if you want something s simple, easy, I bought this off an of Amazon. Uh, I, it, at the time, it cost me $129 off of Amazon for the 1400 watt radio. So I'm not sure if this is still this one is on or if the price has changed. Um, the price changes on on these things all the time uh, on Amazon. Uh, you can look into the Shark uh, website on face on on the internet uh, and see if they have them. But like I said, I bought it Amazon. It was a lot cheaper. It's 120 bucks, and it gets my job done. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I do want to install a GPS somewhere on my bike. So that'll be coming sometime soon. I'm going to try and find out if there's a way I can tie in a GPS with uh, this. And I think if I can get me a GPS that has an auxiliary out and plug it into the auxiliary in, then I can probably use my phone or my tablet to go through that GPS and then through my sound system. To make it all go seamlessly but trying to get them to work separately is uh from what i'm seeing is not going to work unless i go out buy a fairing put a radio in here that has gps and all that stuff inside of it so um but as for now just keeping it classic keeping it looking classic and everything uh without being too high tech looking uh this does the job sounds great like i said now the cons one con is uh, I cannot use my phone, uh, so uh, unless it's for music, I can't do anything. So before I had this, I had my Bluetooth in my helmet and someone would call me, I would be able to answer the phone while I'm riding down the highway and I can hear the, the person talking, they can hear me talking, it was perfectly fine. I had a boom mic that ran down in front of my mouth and it just worked great. Uh, here there's no microphone, there's no microphone input. so. If my phone is in my pocket, where you know, and someone calls me, then I just have to sit there and let the phone just ring, which sometimes I don't mind. Uh, I get a lot of phone calls, a lot of uh, phone calls for work where I'm just like, um, you can wait a second until I can be done driving. Uh, so, um, but. You know, however, if my wife calls me, I'm driving on the road or something like that. I cannot answer her unless I pull over on the side of the road and answer the phone. Uh, so there is no no microphone input. There's no way to talk over Bluetooth to here. Your the your phone will not pick up 
this because there's no microphone input in here so when it's going over Bluetooth it's just gonna uh, you're just gonna hear them they're not gonna be able to hear you so that is definitely a con uh, if Shark does uh, still make these they should definitely work on a way to input implement a microphone somewhere either here or give you a wireless microphone that you can plug into your helmet and make it easy uh, also um, another con is these speakers look great so long as you polish them uh, I, as you can look at my bike here you can see it's pretty chrome heavy so I have a lot of chrome and it takes me hours upon hours to polish my headlights, polish the speakers, polish the mirrors, polish the chrome on my bike, you know. So uh, if you do not have that time, uh, they do offer this in black. Uh, so if you don't have the time to, to polish your bike uh, and polish the polish these the way I do, I would totally invest in the black ones. They won't tarnish. Uh, as easy and they won't stain it, it'll be less of a headache for you to deal with it will be one less thing you have to polish on your bike um, so there's that also the con the design uh, another con is the design uh, like I said before to me this is just hideous it's just ugly uh, it, you know it, it uh, it's pretty basic it's an amplifier you plug things into it, you receive audio from it. it. It does what it needs to do. It's not meant to look pretty or whatever. However, for me, my my taste, um, I keep it hidden because, like I said, it's ugly. Uh, trying to think of another con here. Um, there's not that many cons, really. Besides me nitpicking about microphones and the way it looks and the upkeep of the speakers uh, there's not that many cons now I will say uh, this mounting is definitely a con if they could give you a bracket uh, two brackets for here for your mirrors mounting them up here would be perfect uh, giving them a direction to where you can mount them up here and then possibly turn it out or rotate this out so that you can you know turn it bring it in a little bit and then rotate it out so that way you can have you know you can avoid this right here uh, a lot easier uh, that would go that would be perfect um, also giving you a different set of mounts maybe they could give you these two mounts right here but they could also give you some kind of mount to where you can take and mount your speakers back here and your on the back somewhere you know get you those circular mounts that you can mount the speakers back here so you can have two up here and two in the back for your passenger uh, without you having to go out and fabricate different set of mounts or uh, purchase a different set of mounts. So if they could give you two mounts for up here, possibly keep these two mounts, definitely, because they worked out for me perfectly, uh, but also throw in two other mounts uh, so that you can mount them on a bar somewhere, so that you can mount them in the back somewhere. That would be perfect. But other than that, uh, that's it pretty much so recap over what I said uh, about the the pros and cons pro you have all different media outputs great sound great looking speakers cons the design of the, the actual amplifier itself the mounting brackets maybe the antenna uh, not the antenna Sorry, the antenna is actually magnetic, so you can stick it on anywhere. Um, so that's fine, but you know. So just just your your mounting and everything is just fine. Uh, sorry about that. I just kind of got squirreled a little bit. I, my son just came out and was talking to me, but kind of lost my track. But anyway. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to uh, drop a comment down below. If you liked this video, go ahead, hit the like button, jam on it away, uh, and subscribe. Subscribe for more videos. I will be doing more videos on installs on my motorcycle and installs on my truck, which is sitting outside. Um, but, yeah.
thanks and come again. Until next time.